Looks like South Africa will be getting Starlink very soon. South Africa may soon fill up the missing Lego piece on the Starlink availability map for Southern Africa, which means only Lesotho, Namibia, and Angola are the only SADA countries left without Starlink. Now, according to reports coming out of South Africa, the communications minister, Soli Malazi, has gazetted regulations that will help Starlink circumvent the BEE laws in that country. Now, obviously, this comes after the heated uh, debate between the American president, Donald Trump, and the South African president, Cyril Ramaphosa. Maybe Starlink was one of the concessions made to maintain peace between the two countries. If that's the case, then Elon Musk has had his way. So, this is great news for South Africans, right? Let me explain the real reason we don't want Starlink here. It's not because of BEE. It's about national security. Starlink isn't just an internet service provider. It's a monopoly owned by a billionaire from the United States of America. If Starlink is allowed into the country without proper regulation, it will destroy local internet service providers. And once Starlink becomes the only ISP in South Africa, we'll be in serious trouble. Now, clearly not every South African is happy about Starlink launching in their country. Even the EFF have taken the South African government to court for planning to license Starlink. Now, one thing I find interesting about the video that I've just played is that it almost sounds similar to what those uh, who were opposed to Starlink coming to Zimbabwe were saying, right? They were citing security reasons and how Starlink will come and destroy the local uh, internet sector. Well, that did not happen. Now, I cannot speak much about the security aspect, but I was thinking from the video, maybe you would cite issues to do with uh, information, like information getting stolen, but that was not his fear. His fear is a monopoly. In my opinion, that is not going to happen. The limiting factor of Starlink is the technology itself. Each Starlink satellite can service one cell. This is an area that is about 24 kilometers in diameter. And there's a limit to the number of Starlink kits that can be registered in that cell. So if many people buy the Starlink kits, there's a high chance that the area will be sold out, like the situation in Harare and Lusaka in Zambia. So Starlink works best in areas with low density populations, areas like uh, rural areas, uh, remote areas like uh, maybe safaris and stuff. So. These are areas where even local providers are not servicing fully, if they are, right? So the concept or the notion of people saying that Starlink will push local players out of business, I don't think it's feasible. It didn't happen here in Zimbabwe. It's certainly not going to happen in South Africa as well. Another factor which I think the video overlooked is the fact that Starlink is not cheap. The standard kit is about 7,000 Rand when we convert it from USD the mini kit is about 3,500 Rand and residential monthly subscriptions is close to 900 Rands a month. And I'm not sure if Starlink will even offer the residential light package to South Africa. If it does, that will be around 535 Rands a month. Not sure if that's the pricing that South Africa will get, but uh, that's just a rough estimate. Now, I know that there are a lot of people who are already using Starlink in South Africa and those who manage to get Starlink will not be disappointed. Now, pro tip, if the Starlink opens up for registrations, go there and register fast because Starlink kits have a tendency of running out. Now, the added benefit of South Africa is that uh, in terms of latencies, they will probably have the best latencies in Southern Africa because the point of presence is in Johannesburg. Now, Zimbabwe is already being routed through Johannesburg, so I think it will be easier for them. And it will also be easier for Elon as well to put more infrastructure in South Africa, making sure that the service remains robust there. So yeah, that is Starlink news coming out of South Africa. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next uh, video.